White House on Prigozhin's death, the Kremlin has a long history of killing its opponents. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden has hinted that the Kremlin may be responsible for the death of Wagner's leader Yevgeny Prigozhin. White House spokeswoman Karine Jean-Pierre said this. According to Jean-Pierre, it seems pretty evident what happened in the situation with Prigozhin's death. She also recalled the words of U.S. President Joe Biden that little happens in Russia that Putin is not behind. We all, we all know that the Kremlin has a long history of killing its opponents. That is the history of the Kremlin. And if we take a step back, if you look back for a second, all of this happened because of dysfunction inside Russia, Jean-Pierre added. Previously, UK and Ukrainian intelligence sources named Andrei Avryanov, the head of the unit that organized the Novichok poisoning of the Skripal family in Salisbury, as a possible person involved in the organization of Yevgeny Prigozhin's death. UK intelligence believes that the death of Wagner Group's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, will have a deeply destabilizing effect on the group.